we shot on IMAX cameras, so we made the film for this format. Uh, and for me, I, I think it's like 3D without the glasses. The screen sort of disappears, the proscenium, the frame is kind of less noticeable. You're there with the characters, you're in it. And we've used IMAX in the past, you know, I've been shooting this way for, for years, for action, for vistas, you know, and we knew for Oppenheimer it gives us the vast landscape of New Mexico, the storms, you know, the Trinity test, the whole thing. But with my director of photography, Hoyter van Hoytema, we also started to say, okay, what happens when you apply this format to the face, to the eyes, you know, to the intimate scenes, the idea of just sort of being in Oppenheimer's head. And I think it, it really enhances the experience of kind of being on that journey, you know, in his head, in his shoes. We didn't use CG because CG inherently, I think, is a little bit safe. And we needed the energy of the quantum world that he's visualizing as a young man, this thread that runs through the whole film right up until its outward expression, the destructive power of the atomic bomb at Trinity. Um, we needed to have threat, great beauty, but also terror. And so I challenged my team to come up with analog methods, some of which you know, they are very experimental. Some of them are very, very microscopic standing in for bigger things. Some of them were enormous uh, things that, the, you know, enormous explosive events that, that the uh, actors could react to, you know, out in the desert, in the middle of the night, that kind of thing. So there are a lot of different things that, that go into that, that imagery.